we're out here on St. Helena Island. We're shooting for a local life and we're here with Ross. And Ross, can you tell us who you are and what you do? <laughs> so, no, no pressure. I'm, I'm Ross Taylor um, and I'm the founder of Seaside Grown, which is uh, a subsidiary of a, a sixth generation farm now, Seaside Farm. And uh, what we do is we take, uh, for the farm, we, we grow tomatoes. That's what we've been doing for 115 years. And so Seaside Grown utilizes those red, beautiful tomatoes that couldn't go to market before, and we make them into a Bloody Mary mix. And it's a way to add a value-added product to the, the company that was already there. So the QR codes on our bottle are associated with the seal that's on our bottle as well. And every time you shoot the QR code, it will drop you with your phone. It'll drop you into the middle of the field that the tomatoes were picked in and tell you everything that happened with the tomatoes that are in that bottle. So right now we're at my family's uh, home, Frogmore Manor, which was built circa 1810. And um, we kind of, we started owning it or we took ownership of it in somewhere around the 1860s. And uh, it's been our home ever since. It's been home to the family, and um, my grandfather grew up here, my mother grew up here, I lived here for a year, and my aunt and uncle currently live here today. Um, it's, uh, it's been fairly special, and also it was the inspiration for the design of uh, the Forrest Gump House. So we're here where it all started at Frogmore Manor, um, and this is exactly where Seaside Farm started and Seaside Grown as well. You know, everything goes back to our roots and our heritage, and uh, we're very proud of our family and the fact that we've been growing tomatoes for 115, 117 years now. And so when we talk about our heritage and we talk about the, the vine ripe perfect tomatoes that go into it, we've been doing it for that long. We've been doing it since we've been had this house, you know, in the mid-1800s. <laughs> 